In this corner, TV.com on location from Canastota, New York, and the 2011 International Boxing Hall of Fame. In this corner, TV.com, sponsored by Tecate Cerveza Con Caracter. Day two of the 2011 induction ceremony weekend here in Canastota, New York, featured the fist casting of the inductees, and we had the opportunity to sit down with Mickey Ward, Dickie Eklund, Aaron Pryor, Barry McGuigan, and we did an in-ring demonstration with one of the inductees, Kosh Jazu. If I had to learn to hit right hand, I'm gonna hit you, put your hands down. Stay still, don't move. <laughs> no, it's not easy. One thing I learned, it's also, boxing is all about timing, right? I'm gonna hit you hard, don't move. Uh, and I'm not gonna touch you. Actually, I'm gonna touch you, just touch you. All right? Gotcha. If you're gonna move a bit, Further, you're gonna be on the floor. You can feel that he's hard. Harder. Harder. I heard that. Closer. <laughs> you can actually feel though when he would turn when he turns over. There's such a difference between a lot of fighters today don't know how to turn over their shots. They throw it, but they don't punch through. Kostasu let, actually let, punches let me, through. Let me go a bit further. Okay. How much further? I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm just touching you. Okay. It's mean I'm gonna touch you. Put your down, just relax. <laughs> just touch. One, two centimeters further down, you'll be on the floor. The movie The Fighter really chronicled your uh, relationship with, uh, with Dickie and, and coming up. How is it today? <laughs> Dickie's Dickie. You know, uh, you know we, we we're good. We always been good. You know, we, we you know he's my brother. I love him, and uh, you know, but Dickie's Dickie. You know, he's uh, he, he got his own language, Dickinese. You know, you know you can't understand them. Um. Dickinese. <laughs> yeah, you know. Hey, did he really knock down Leonard? He says somebody in the in the crowd tripped him. <laughs> so we'll leave it at that. Everything's to Mickey Waters. Boom, boom, boom. My guys are bang, 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 and hit to the body. But I was on a punch on speed. He switched to lefty, and he'd be, lefty, I told my fighters, you can't be outside and switch, because Mickey got caught one time. Your feet are like this, and you got on. So when you switch to lefty, you hold your right hand out, and you gotta back your foot up, so you don't get knocked off balance. But he'd be inside like this, left, righty, and all of a sudden they'd be in close to the guy, and they'd see the guy when I was forward, so they'd go, boom, boom, bam. Aaron, you were inducted uh, into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in Canastota, where we sit now in 1996, and uh, such a camaraderie. In, in fact, you, uh, I'm certain, uh, were at Graziano's at one point with Alexis Arguello yeah. are here. What does this mean to be uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame and the camaraderie with these uh, great legends of uh, pugilism? It, it's, a, it's a great feeling. It's, uh, you know, after it's all said and done, sometimes you want to look at your life and say, was it worth it? But being here at the Hall of Fame and looking at my life, it was worth it. I mean, uh, you know, Alexis Aguero was in the Hall of Fame too, and uh, just one of the greatest guys that I ever met in the ring and outside the ring. Um, you miss him, don't you? Yes, that we, we were good friends. I went to his country. I happened to run for mayor. He ran for mayor, and um, we became very, very, very good friends. I would uh, call him and ask him things that he would personally do for me. Uh, we had a great relationship, and I, uh, I went to his, I went to his country twice, and he took care of me, and I, and I really admired that. We need to celebrate this more. Uh, we need to bring people to it. I'm out here this time with Sky Television, and I'm bringing the crew with me, and we're going to be broadcasting what happens here over this wonderful weekend's celebrations back to the UK and Europe, and we, we shoot. I mean, we're, our stuff is taken all over the world. So it's very important to me as an inductee in 2005 to bring, um, to bring 
kind of stole to, to the world boxing fans' attention. And it's, it's fantastic, you know, we get some great fighters. Ruben Olivares I spotted, I saw Sergio Martinez, Joe Cortez just here. Uh, real Ludovo, or Lu, not Ludovo, but uh, Ludovello over in the, in the hotel. So it's, it's great, and this is only the start. We're here on Thursday. They all start flooding in over the weekend, and this weekend is a pretty special one with Tyson being inducted, and uh, Julio Cesar Chavez, and of course, Costa Zhu. And uh, Harry Carpenter posthumously has been inducted. He was one of the, you know, the greatest names in BBC boxing history. So he's uh, been inducted. I know his son Clive is coming over. Uh, I spoke at his memorial a couple of years ago when he passed away. He, sp he commentated on my world title fight. So we're very proud to be, to be over here on his behalf. And also Sly Stallone, who's done so much for boxing. And people say, well, what has Sly Stallone done? Good God, he's been enormous for the game. He's been absolutely fantastic. He has turned more, more people onto boxing. And it wasn't just boxing fans, aficionados like you and I, it was casual boxing fans and women who loved the story and the love story between him and his girlfriend and then his wife. So uh, absolutely fantastic. It's a great weekend and I can't recommend it anymore for, for boxing fans all over the world. I spoke to somebody this morning from Brisbane, somebody from Tokyo, and uh, they've come in from England as well and from Wales. So it's absolutely special.